Hi guys, happy Saturday. It is still Saturday, September 3rd, but I thought I'd drop in because a few weeks back I had watched a video from Connie Stewart. She's one of our uh, million dollar sales achievers. She has the Nothing Better Than set. It's a fabulous set, still in the annual catalog. And then um, I also watched videos from Karen Titus. So this week, Karen Titus on her weekly challenge is doing the angled card. Well, funny enough, this is a card I was going to do next weekend on my videos when I did it, um, watch the Connie Stewart video. So we're going to have a battle off. Karen versus Connie. Which do you like better? I'm going to show you both of them. Now, on the Karen one, you end up using a little bit more designer series paper. On the Connie one, you use an extra layer. And you can see the angles are a little different. Connie's comes down straight. Karen's comes down angled. So I'm going to show you how to do both of them. Okay, I have my little measurements and tick marks all on the back. All right. So the first thing you're going to do for both of them is you're going to cut your card base at five and a half by 11. So I'm going to do one at a time. No, you know what? Maybe I'll do them side by side. So five and a half by 11 on both of them. So you're not going to get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock. Keep these off the side. Um, on Connie's, you make a belly band. I think on Karen's, you make a belly band too, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so then on both of them, you're going to score at three and three eighths on both sides. So here we go, three and three eighths on both sides. So let's do that. There you go, three and three eighths on both of them. So when everything got a little bit rearranged, I put down a new, um, what do they call this? A photography mat. Put a new one down just to get into the fall season. It's getting tired of the marbled look anyway. So yes. And so then when I re over, so then when I had to take that off to put it down, I had to rearrange where the camera sat and where all my stuff is over here. Okay. Now let's talk about DSP. So for both of them, I'm going to use the same. This is from the uh, a Wash and Beauty. Okay. So for both of them, I'm going to use the Wash and Beauty. So now for both of them, no, I'm sorry. For Connie's, your DSP is going to be three by five. So if you have a six by six, you're going to be able to get two out of a square. So if you're using something like this, with Connie's, you will be able to get two out of a square because hers are, her DSP is three by five but there's also a layer. So let's cut Connie's first. So we're gonna go three by five. All right, so that's Connie's layers. For Karen's, the DSP, you're not using that sec, you're not using a layer. So hers is going to be a little bit bigger. Karen's is going to be three and an eighth. So let's go three and an eighth. That's why you can't get two out of a six by six sheet. Three and an eighth by five and a fourth. Okay. And then for Connie's, we're going to do a layer in there. I'm going to get, I think, Mossy Meadow. Let me come over here and find my Mossy Meadow. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Mossy Meadow. So 
for Connie's, we're going to cut three and an eighth by five, four and a fourth. So that's that's Karen's uh, DSP side. But so let's do three and an eighth. By four and a fourth and you're gonna do two of those so five and a fourth five and a fourth okay all right so let's do Connie's first so on Connie's you're going to go ahead and I'm gonna do tick marks on all these you can use your your uh, cutter to actually angle and do it, but I'm just going to mark on hers like she did. So on here, your tick is going to be at four and a fourth. So wait, oh yeah, sorry. I'm like four and a fourth, wait. So on this side, am I doing that right? Four and a fourth. I have to look at hers. Oh, wait. It's not a four and a four. I right hear. Sorry. So, why did I write down it's four and a fourth? Because <laughs> if you see hers. Oh, on the four and a fourth side. Oh, duh, duh. So, on hers, you're going to come down. Like this. Here's where the four and a fourth is. So you're going to go four and a fourth there. And you're going to flip it over. Go four and a fourth there. Sorry, guys. I wasn't thinking. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and put that tick mark in the channel. And you're going to put the fold in the channel. And you're going to cut... Same on this side. Get that score in there and get that mark in there. Sorry, because the last one I did was Karen's and she, instead of doing the, at the four and a fourth, she says the one and one and a half. So it's just however you want to measure it. Okay, so there's that for Connie's. Take your one layer down and here you're going to put this to four and an eighth and make your tick mark. And then I'm gonna put the two of them together, your tick mark in there and your point there. There's your tick mark there, there's your point there. And there you are. Here's your layers. Now on your DSP, you want to, you're gonna do the tick mark again but you want to have them facing together. So the same sides facing one another. And on this, we're gonna do, line it up at four and make our tick mark there. So we have that lined up at the four. We're gonna put our tick mark there. Okay, so then we have these pieces right here. Let me find out where did I put, like I said, I rearranged everything here. I did put it back in there. So let's put Connie's together. So let's go ahead, we got that thin border around all of it. So now on hers, you could use a six by six too, because you'd be able to get the two out. All right, there we go. And finally,
All right. So there is Connie's. Whichever way you like it better. Come straight down. You have your angled. And you would do your belly band and any stamping you want to do. So now let's go to Karen's. So Karen's, you do a tick at the one and a half on the right side. So I'm going to go down to one and a half. I don't know if you can really see that. And on the bottom, you're going to go at one. All right. So again, am I going to do, let's see. And then here we go. Same here. You're going to go one and a half on the side, one at the bottom. And then one and a half on the side, one on the bottom. You want to make sure it's straight here or you'll be a little off, but you know me, everything I do is a little off. So again, line up and line up. And then you're going to go from this point down to that one inch mark. We'll erase those pencil marks later. So there you have that. A lot of triangles. You can do a good triangle card with the scraps. So see how with Karen's, you have a little bit of that angle going there. And let me see, let me grab my little eraser. Got a smudge mark there. So then on Karen's, you're going to do the exact same thing because this paper is a little bit smaller. So you're going to go on this side at one and a half. And this side, you're going at one. All right, so let's, here's that mark there at the corner. With DSP, I always start in the middle, of course. And then that point to that one inch mark. Okay, so now here, get that out of the way. We have that. So there you are. And I think on Karen, she actually did them same side so that way you saw the reverse on the other side. I don't mind having it that way. So there you are. Let me get some of these scraps out of the way over here. So they're both angled gatefold cards. One from Connie Stewart with an extra layer. One from Karen Titus with no layer and angled besides. All right, both great folds. Um, I personally, instead of doing a belly band, I would probably put something on a dimensional, like get a little pop-up on a dimensional, and that way it would hold the card down. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and enjoy your Saturday.